Hi, I'm Dave, founder of Halloween Year Round, and today I'm talking about the new IFC and Shutter co-production, Oddity, an incredibly creepy, I guess you could call it a haunted house movie, but there is so much more to it than that. It's currently playing in theaters. It will hopefully be on Shutter by the end of the year. I'm going to keep this as spoiler-free as possible. But again, if you'd rather not hear anything about it and go watch it, go watch the movie first. It's playing in theaters, and then come back here. You better come back. And without further ado, let's get into it. This is not real. As I've always believed, there's nothing that can't be explained. Creepy old mansion in the British countryside? Check. Creepy ass wooden figure man that sits at the table and stares into your soul? Check. Supernatural twist that kind of you're not sure which way it's gonna go? Check. Masked murder on the loose? Check. Oddity has so much going for it, and it's a movie that. I mean, it kind of came out of nowhere. You know, this is, it, it, it's, I mean, it's Shutter and IFC. It's low budget. It's indie. But it shows just how much you can do with that. I can't really get too, too much into the plot without spoiling it. All I can say is we have a doctor who is in the running for, like, worst husband of the, well, of the century award. He's just an absolute... I don't even know. I, I, I can't even say what I want to call him or this video will get demonetized. So I'm just going to call him a something something. So this doctor's a real something something. And another something something does a something something involving a, a beloved family member of his tragedy and all that. And then we have our setup for one of the creepiest movies of the year. Everything from its tone to its setting to the way it uses its kind of super, supernatural element. You have a character who is psychic, and you have ghosts, you have spirits, you have hauntings. But kind of like with Crimson Peak, I love that the supernatural element doesn't always have to be the villain. Sometimes it's the humans who are bad, and the supernatural is trying to help us, warn us, save us even. And I think that this movie takes those like haunted house tropes and puts a fresh spin on them. It's extremely well acted, um, especially by the uh, the actress playing. Well, she's playing two roles. She's playing uh, both Darcy and her sister. They're they're twins. And in her role as this like psychic clairvoyant, like she's really she's unsettling. And she doesn't get social cues. She's also, she's also blind. But damn, does she have a quick wit to her that makes you, like, she creeps you out and then makes you laugh in the same sentence. So, I love everything about this movie. I love its pacing. You know, it, it's like 90 minutes and it goes by really fast. Like, the first 20 minutes, you're not sure where it's going. And I, I like that it kind of, it's like, are we going this way? Are we going this way? Oh! We're going this way. And then when we go this way, it's really genuinely scary. It 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 you it has jump scares, but it resists the urge to do cheap jump scares. They feel really earned. And this is a movie that I saw in theaters. It genuinely creeped me out. It it made me kind of nervous to come back here home at night because of the way it kind of blends. It's it's sort of a haunted house movie. It's sort of a home invasion movie. And it takes the scariest elements of both of those uh, subgenres and blends them together in a really interesting way. That by the end of it, again, I won't get into spoilers, when all is revealed, it's just a really interesting, fascinating, and dramatic, I mean, family drama ghost story. That you're like, oh, that all makes sense. And then, you know, characters do certain things and you're like, oh my God, are, is that what they're doing? Oh, and even though the, like the whole last act, you kind of know what's coming at the end. It, 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 it props you up in the beginning to know how the movie's probably going to end. 
you don't mind that it's not a surprise because when it comes, you are so rooting for it to happen. So again, I can't say too, too much more without spoiling it. Once it is available on Shutter, whenever that is, I will do a much more in-depth spoiler review. Um, but just, I, I wanted to encourage you guys, please go see this movie. You know, support, you know, indie film. I love that Shudder is releasing their movies in theaters now. It was so cool to see In a Violent Nature in theaters, to see Stop Motion in theaters, to see Late Night with the Devil in theaters, and now to see Oddity in theaters. I I love, you know, their original movies, and it's cool to get to see them on the big screen and then have them come to the service. I wish they came to the service a little bit sooner, but you know what? I'll take the current method over what every other studio is doing by tanking their own box office, by having their, their streaming window be like barely 30 days. You know, oh, why'd this movie flop? Well, it's because you announced after its opening weekend that it was going to be available on digital in like two weeks. Maybe that's why nobody went to see it. So don't be like them. Please go check out Oddity. It is genuinely one of the creepiest movies I've seen this year. It will very likely be on my top 10 horror movies of the year list. And what I love is that it's one that I didn't even see coming. I didn't know this movie existed before a couple weeks ago when I saw Showtime's work posted at my local Regal. I said, that looks really cool. I found out it was a Shutter movie. I was even more intrigued, and I checked it out, and I'm so glad I did. So if you're looking for something scary to see... You know, if you've already seen Maxine and you've already seen Long Legs and, and you need to get that fill of creepy horror, check out Oddity. Um, like, share, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. If you don't, you may end up home alone in a creepy old Victorian house in the British countryside that may or may not be haunted and may or may not have home invaders and may or may not, may or may not have supernatural home invaders. And as always... Every day is Halloween.